Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Programming. Today I want to talk about decompiled programs and decompiled video games for Linux. Did you know that some programmers take video games and then take their assembly code and decompile them to regular C code? Well, today I have three examples where that's been successfully done. We have uh, Zelda for Super Nintendo. We also have... Super Mario 64, and we also have Ocarina of Time. And so what this basically means is that some programmers took the, um, took the ROM or the video game, the original video game, and they decompiled it. They took the assembly code, they analyzed it, and they reassembled the original C code. I'm not actually sure if the Super Nintendo Zelda was originally written in C because a lot of Super Nintendos I hear was written in assembly language, but you can also take assembly language written from hand and automatically convert it into C code. Anyways, there's several advantages for using decompiled C code over the ROM counterpart. The major advantage is that in the 90s when these games were originally written, the target aspect ratio was 4 by 3 square. Today, almost all TVs are 16 by 9. Some screens are 16 by 10. And so we want to be able to play those games in the 16 by 9 ratio and also in higher resolutions, right? Because the TVs from that time were very low resolutions. So after you decompile a game, you can then recompile it with the original ROM assets and it's completely legal. It's legal if you own the ROM yourself. So we might still get a copyright strike, but I want to go ahead and take a look at these games running on the Steam Deck, which I've prepared for you today. I have not figured out how to get the cover art in gaming mode, and so if anyone knows how to get the cover art for these games for a non-Steam game, please let me know in the comments below, and that will help all the other users. So let's take a look at Link to the Past, which is the Super Nintendo Zelda game. Hope you forgive me for this light. Let me pause it real sec for a second so I can turn off that light. There we go, no reflection. And check it out, it is Link to the Past in glorious 16 by nine. I gotta tell you, this is the best way to play a Link to the Past. This is a pretty old game, but it's still really fun today. Look at that aspect ratio, beautiful, right? Okay, so let's go back into Steam and let's take a look at two more games that are available in the open source community. So the next one is Super Mario 64 and I think this is really the first big decompiled video game and this video game made its rounds pretty much everywhere. You get people were porting it to the Nintendo Switch, the Wii U, and basically every single platform that you can imagine. And it really is the best way to play Mario 64. There's really no other good ports for this game that I'm aware of. I think the Switch had a port, but uh, if I recall correctly, it's still 4x3. So the people who ported this game actually made it into 16x9. They increased the frame rate. I think the original frame rate was like 20 or 23 frames per second. And we can actually get a full 60 frames per second. And this is so fun. I played through this entire game originally on a Raspberry Pi 4 or 3, I don't recall, after the PC port. So it is absolutely complete and ready for you to play. Okay, we've got one more game to showcase today. Oops, started that again. That's okay. Let's go ahead and start it out. Stop it. Exit it, that's what I meant. I've been switching between Nintendo and PlayStation controllers. Okay, so the final game that we have decompiled is Zelda Ocarina of Time. So there's a lot of good versions of this game. So, you know, is this the best version to play? Well, that's debatable because the 3DS version is also pretty good and it's in 16 by 9 but you need to have two screens and really the 
best place to play that is on the 3DS itself. So, um, if you really want to play this game in a 16x9 ratio on a big screen TV, I think that uh, the decompiled version on something like a Steam Deck is the best way to play it. So one of the things I really love about this version is the 60 frames per second um, edition. When you first decompile this game or when you first build this game, you're going to see it at 20 frames per second and it looks terrible on a huge four screen TV because the original game was just not designed to run on such huge screens. I mean, it was, you know, running on much fewer pixels and in square. But luckily, the guys that and gals, whoever ported this game, was nice enough to give us multiple resolutions. So it's called Ship of Harkanian, I think it's called. Look up Decompiled Zelda Ocarina of Time and you'll quickly find it. Anyways, the game performs great at 60 frames per second. It's so smooth, it's a completely different experience. And... Another thing that's worth mentioning is this is running at 4K on the Steam Deck, which, you know, is really, you know, not a very powerful machine. It's, I think the GPU is equivalent to a GeForce 950, so that's, you know, a long time ago. It's really a 720p card, even a little less than 720p. But this game, because it was optimized on this old MIPS hardware from the 90s, is able to be upscaled and not even upscaled, but actually rendered at 4K resolution at 60 frames per second, and there is zero frame drops. I mean, I've got, if you look over in the corner, the left hand, I actually have the frame rate counter, and it basically never drops below 60. It's so smooth, and um, from, from the little time that I've spent on it, this is the absolute best way to experience Zelda Ocarina of Time. You know, maybe maybe the 3DS will give it a good running for its money because I think they got some, you know, updated assets. I'm sure there's texture packs that you can add to this. But uh, yeah. There you go, folks. There is decompiled games. These are the this is like C code that has been reverse engineered painstakingly by sheer power of <laughs> the you know autism or something. Um, these are some great games that you can check out. If you want to get the original source code, you can, you know, build these yourself. And it runs great on Linux. It runs great on Steam Deck. It runs great on a Raspberry Pi or other single board computer. Let me know what you guys think about decompiled games. Do you think we should be doing this to more games? I see some other games in the future. Uh, what is it? The other Zelda game that came out for Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. I think that's going to be coming up in the next year or so. There's a lot of other games that are written in C from the N64, like, time period. Um, after N64, a lot of games were written in C++. And C++, if you didn't know, it's a, uh, it's a computer programming language that offers a very high level of abstraction. And those abstractions ended up actually helping with performance because it turns out after you abstract a large amount of behavior, the compiler is then able to optimize that very heavily. But the downside of that is turning that into human readable C or C++ code is basically impossible at that point. So anything written in the like C period should be possible to reverse engineer into a fairly human readable format, especially if they left a debug mode. In the uh, Super Mario 64, I think part of the trick was is there was some debug code left on. They forgot to turn some flags off. So actually the decompiled version will run faster than the original version. But anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think uh, we should decompile more video games? Do you think this is great? I think this is some of the coolest things since sliced bread. I love playing these old games on a modern day 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I wish Nintendo would reverse, you know, I wish Nintendo would, you know, port some of these games in 16 by 9 I think a lot of times when they re-release them, it's just emulation and it's also, also often in 4x3. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content and you want to keep up to date with it. I think we might go into a very in-depth open source um, FOSS software that can like improve your life in the future videos. I think another video I've got planning is the Fediverse and other decentralized social media. Okay, so again, like and subscribe, leave a comment down below because it feeds the algorithm and have a nice day. Thanks everybody. Wolf for Programming and signing out.